What's like a big goal of yours that you're working towards? I will choose the better for my family. Yeah. Not for not only for me, for mm -hmm. only for my family. Because you've had difficulty in the past with relationships then, you would say? Uh... Hey everyone, I recently made a short trip back to the Netherlands to visit some family and friends and on the way back to the Philippines I had a 6 hour layover in Jeddah. So I decided to pick up my camera and approach people, ask them questions about life. So yeah, that's basically what this video is going to be about. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get into it. Um, yeah, so what's your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Nikos. Nikos? Yeah. Okay, and you're from Greece you said? I'm Greek, yeah, but I live in Amsterdam. Okay, okay. Um, why do you live in Amsterdam? <laughs> uh, I went for my master's and yeah. uh, I got a job, so mm -hmm. I'm very happy there. Okay, okay. So I decided to stay. Okay, and are you going to Bangkok, you said? I'm going to Thailand with a friend, yeah. Okay, just to travel or...? Yeah, yeah just to travel. I uh, took some time off. Okay, um, okay. A couple of weeks. And I'm gonna try to escape from uh, the Dutch... Um, Typical Dutch uh, weather, grey yeah. skies and the rainy okay. weather, <laughs> uh, to tan and uh, relax and. Because I guess in Greece you're more also you're more used to like the sunny weather, right? Yeah, yeah, it's way more sunny and yeah. uh, dry. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I've been away for a couple of years now. Okay. Uh, I don't miss the weather to be honest, because the life in general in uh, Amsterdam makes me very happy and fulfilled. Do you like it better than Greece? Uh, yes. Like for what? Sure. What aspects do you like better? Well, in Greece we have the good weather uh, yeah. and of course friends and family and all that mm -hmm. but the wider context is a bit sad, I will say, because of all the struggles that people have been going through Yeah. Uh, and I completely understand it but I don't like to be surrounded by this and I say this to, to friends as well, like mm -hmm. even now that I live in Amsterdam, when I go back if I stay more than a couple of weeks I feel like, you know, the city Athens, the city is um, sort of sucking the energy out of me. Okay. Because of you know the overall atmosphere uh, and vibe that's going on around. Okay. There. It's a, it's very pretty to mm -hmm. go as a visitor, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's better if you don't understand Greek because you you sort of uh, save yourself from a lot of uh, unnecessary drama that's happening. And right. The struggle of people. Yeah. I'm quite happy to be where I am. So mm. uh, at least for the next I don't know three, four, five years. Uh, okay. I'll okay. Be there. Yeah. The vibe you experience in Greece is not the vibe you experience in the Netherlands. No, uh, in the Netherlands, it's the atmosphere of the city okay. is way more neutral. I think mm -hmm. way more calm. Uh, people do not have to stress and worry about the basics. Yeah, uh, and you see that in everyday life and in mm -hmm. the faces of the people. And uh, okay, yeah, and I, I just uh, I appreciate that more, and I enjoy this way of living more. Because mm -hmm. you know, I have my circle of people, I have my, a good job, I, yeah. I have, you can build a, a nice life, mm -hmm. and then the only side effect, the negative side effect is the weather, which is like, okay, it's, it's fine, it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. But when you have built a very solid and a happy life... Mm -hmm. It's funny that you say, if you go to Greece, it might be like pretty as an outsider, like yeah. going there as, yeah. as a tourist. So. What about like you going to the Netherlands? Like we, like you see it then in like in a better way, or you don't see the things that are actually like not good with the country. Just the same way, you uh, know, a, a tourist in, in Greece is not gonna see probably what's like wrong with it. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, before moving to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. I was um, visiting uh, very often. Yeah. Ever since I was like 13, okay. I would go with my mom at least once a year. Mm -hmm. So gradually, I fell in love with the city and the country and and everything. Right. Um, and it was a dream of mine to, to live in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. So I'm living my dream and that makes me very happy. That's good. Uh, I think it just, uh, to me, to be honest, um, there's a big gap between me and the uh, Dutch people in general. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I think the way we communicate is uh, very much different and uh, the way we understand certain things and situations are mm -hmm. different. I was about to ask you, like, what's something that's giving you a hard time in the Netherlands? Um, nothing, to be nothing. honest. Okay. No, because the, as I said before, the weather is, um, you know, it is what it is sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you wake up on a Monday and it's like total gray and rainy. Okay. It's bad. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's okay. It's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, aside of that, you know, the, the people, you, you build bridges and you... Uh, find common grounds to communicate. There are many internationals uh, in Amsterdam, so right, yeah. uh, it's really easy to build your own circle of people. Yeah, very so diverse. So you're not really dependent on speaking the language or having, you know, mm -hmm. necessarily local friends. It's, it's so popular and mm -hmm. a lot of Greeks are there and right. uh, we leave the country for the same reasons. But so you say you're very different, like your way of 
just being is very yeah. different from the Dutch way. Yeah. Is is that something that uh, hinders you? Something that bothers you, or just something that you accept? Yeah, it's a different culture and it's a very multicultural mm -hmm. um, environment. So yeah. uh, I really enjoy being uh, in, in that context. There's not much I would change in general. As I said before, if you build, you have the chance to really build your life. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm really grateful for that. And, yeah. Um, all the side effects are are really easy to cope with. Mm -hmm. Nice. Are there any Dutch words that you've learned? Uh, gezellig. Gezellig, yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, and I think this is the one. Yeah, dankjewel and alsjeblieft, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine. Dankjewel and alsjeblieft. Yeah, right, but yeah. gezellig is, uh, is my favorite one. Maybe like a very personal question, like what's something that, um, uh, like an obstacle you have, uh, you've had recently? Nothing negative lately. Okay, that's All good. good. <laughs> yeah, good vibes only. I turned 30 uh, okay. earlier in February. Mm -hmm. And the, what I've been saying to friends and also to myself is that nowadays, in terms of relationships with friends or you know people in general, and I, I've came in terms with the fact with this fact lately that I, I am aware of what I bring to the table, and this mm -hmm. is a very uh, important realization to have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I feel like it's you know it's really determining you know relationships uh, that I built, mm -hmm. uh, and also evaluating relationships that I had from the past. Right. Because you've had difficulty in the past with relationships then, you would say? Uh, no, I mean, everybody has, we have our ups and downs in mm -hmm, relationships. Mm -hmm. So, like for instance, yeah, I've, I've dated Dutch people in the past and mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not really working. Okay. <laughs> it's exactly what I said before about communication. They yeah. do not communicate how they feel. Mm -hmm. So, and I am very expressive and I do not yeah. expect others to be as I am, of course, mm -hmm. but yeah. They are very direct, right? Yeah. That's kind of like the, the like the stereotype that, yeah, of Dutch yeah, people. Yeah. They're very direct. It is, yeah. Yeah, and they are, and that's okay. Uh, sometimes they play in the uh, boundaries of being uh, too direct or rude. Yeah. I think, uh, but that's yeah, that's okay. Uh, I learned to be <laughs> to uh, act the same way as well. Mm. So, do you appreciate it, or is it just something that you chose to live with? Oh. Just to adapt, just because it's uh, normal in the culture. I will say I learned to appreciate it. Okay, okay. <laughs> sometimes, I think sometimes they come across as rude, mm -hmm. but I think it, this is not their intention. So, yeah, that's how I see it lately. Okay, thanks. Sure, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what's your name and where are you from? I'm Eleni, I'm from Cyprus. Cyprus, okay. Yeah. And where are you going? I'm going to Mauritius. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you just explained that it's very close to Madagascar? Yeah, it's yeah. close. Yeah. Okay. It's close. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you going to do there? Just vacation. Vacation, okay. For how, how long? A week. Okay, a week. And what do you do for a living? I'm a project manager. Project uh, manager. I work in an um, organization that uh, we take funding from the European Union, actually. And mm -hmm. we do research. Okay, okay. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I'm working yeah? now actually. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Always busy. <laughs> right. How long is the overlay? 12 hours. 12 hours? You're gonna stay here for 12 hours? Yeah, and that's been like... Uh, I came here at 7. So that is already 5 hours? 6 hours? Yeah, I'm leaving on 6.30. If I'm counting correct. I'm not wow. sure. I'm leaving on 4, so yeah, that's, that's still... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, hours, good luck. Right? And why why go there? I already forgot the name where you're going, but why go there? <laughs> Never heard of Mauritius? <laughs> no. Um, okay, it's the second time I'm going. Okay, okay. I've been there like six months ago. Yeah. I loved it. Okay. I met people there. Yeah. And I want to go again. It's okay. It's perfect spot for relaxation. You met friends or like... I met them there and we kept in touch. Mm -hmm. In touch and yeah, we're meeting them oh, nice, again. Nice, nice. What's like a big goal of yours that you're working towards? I want to travel the, uh, the whole world. Yeah. That's my goal, actually. Okay. And my job gives me that opportunity, actually. Okay. I'm traveling through my Remotely. Work. Yeah, but I'm traveling for work within Europe, of course. Mm-hmm. But it's something. And how do you like Syria? How do you like your own country? Cyprus. Sorry, Cyprus. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Cyprus. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Have you ever been to Cyprus? No, 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 no. You, it's an island okay. in the Mediterranean. Yeah. It's an independent uh, country, but we're mm -hmm. 
most we consider ourselves Greeks. It's a nice, cozy island, small, sunny, okay. beaches. Mm. It's a nice place, you should visit. I just interviewed someone from Greece who lives in the, the Netherlands. Ah, okay. But so it's not it's not Greece, right? It's just it's, it's, it's not, pretty similar then, or uh, we speak the same language. Okay. Greek, okay, it's a dialect. Yeah. It's a Cypriot dialect, but we have a lot of similarities. Okay. But Cyprus also is a divided island because mm -hmm. we had an invasion in, yeah. from the, from Turkey mm -hmm. in 1974, and still this uh, is an issue we haven't resolved it yet. Okay. Right. So that, that that is something that bothers us. And mm. we want a solution, but nothing goes Right, on. right, right. What's well, something that you want to say? Like some, maybe like an advice, maybe something that you've learned recently. Like just anything, anything that like comes to your mind. Like, oh, maybe this is something that other people want to know. I think that everyone should do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And never, we always keep asking ourselves, should I do that? Should I not do that? But if you feel like you want to do something, mm -hmm. just do it. Right. And you'll find out if it was wrong or not. Mm -hmm. Then instead thinking about all the time that what if I did that. Right, exactly. That's my, I think, it's one of my goals lately. Right, right. Whatever comes in mind, I yeah. should do it. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also living by that, so yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Jansen uh, Relebo. Okay. And you're from the Philippines? From Philippines. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I already said like I have a lot of Filipino subscribers, so <laughs> they're probably gonna like this. Yeah. You're going to Poland? Yeah, I'm going to Poland. Okay, just to travel or? Uh, working. Working, okay. Yeah. What, what kind of work do you do? What's your job? Uh, food processing, like factory. Because before I'm here in uh, Saudi Arabia, I'm working here in oh, hospital. Oh really? Yeah. Then uh, I choose a uh, better Poland. place, yeah. Right, Poland instead. Yeah. Like a better paying job or just what's, what's better about it? Um, also, the salary is uh, higher. Yeah. For uh, to proceed my, my family also, mm -hmm. I will bring in Oh, you will Europe. bring them to Poland? Yeah. Europe. Oh, really? Uh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Because the, there is a lot of uh, place, very cool place. Cool place, yeah. <laughs> the, the weather is colder as yeah. well, right, in, in Poland. It's, yeah. it's not as hot as in the, <laughs> in the Philippines right now. Um, so how long have you been doing this job? Uh, I have before, I have working abroad in uh, Dubai. Dubai. Then here, Saudi. Mm -hmm. Then again, uh, now uh, I travel to, to Europe. Poland. Poland. To Europe, right. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, so yeah, then also your goal is to bring your family? Because yeah. di you didn't have your family in uh, Dubai or Saudi? No. I need to may bring my wife the petition mm -hmm. like uh, my colleagues uh, yeah then I I will bring there right then also my my children also mm -hmm. have you faced a lot of uh, obstacles during the, uh, like moving abroad like what, what have you found something that like something that's um, uh, what? hard something that's hard to to deal with yeah it's very hard to do because uh, my wife and my children is very far for me yeah because still in the Philippines then mm -hmm. I'm working in uh, Europe maybe after uh, one or two years three years mm -hmm. maybe I will bring my wife and also my children so what's something you found is like um, when it comes to culture because you've, you've been to Dubai you've been to Saudi like the culture is very yeah. different right yeah what? different different yeah all country is a different culture mm -hmm. yeah but uh, for me is a challenge like challenge for me mm -hmm. then also I want to try all the the culture mm -hmm. there is a lot of food mm -hmm. different food yeah I will try like that I want to to plan to make a restaurant like that all all food in a different country then yeah. I mix right maybe <laughs> oh, that's nice. interesting yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask, like, what's the big goal you're working towards? But the big goal you you just mentioned, like bringing your family mm -hmm. over to to Poland to Europe. So I I guess you already answered that question. Um, Sorry. No, that's no, fine. It's it's fine. Um, what's an advice you can give to people? Like, what have you learned? Um, uh, I advise to if you have a dream, mm -hmm. then you have a goal in your career. Mm -hmm. Just do it, because uh, if you want success do uh, with yourself like that mm -hmm. uh, from your heart mm -hmm. 
just do it like that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> no, it's because, good. It's good because I my English is uh is very little. Uh, it's it's good. It's good. <laughs> can, can you speak like other languages? Can you speak? Um, so so what's the language you speak in in um no, in I, the Philippines? Do you speak? Uh, I speak uh, Tagalog. Tagalog, or? yeah. Okay. Tagalog. Three years I stay here. Then yeah. I catch some li- little uh, language for the Arabic. Oh really? Can, can you say something in Arabic <laughs> or not? <laughs> if you tell a uh, color, mm-hmm. like uh, Portugal, Aspar, Aswad, kid, mm. like that. That, that's called a color. Color. Okay. Then if you if you if you count the count like money mm-hmm. like that like forehead itini talata arba kamsa sita sabah. Okay. okay. Kamanya tisa kasra. Right. <laughs> good. Good. Maybe if I go Poland, I try Polish. Polish. Right. <laughs> Because right. I will I enjoy you the the language of. If you understand, they, right. you will talk each other like mm-hmm. that. Is there a country that you 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 have in mind? Like, oh, this mm-hmm. is that's where I want to like really go to, and that's where I really want to like settle myself. I will travel the different different country, but I will choose the better for my family. Yeah. Not for not only for me, for mm-hmm. only for my family. I leave my family in my country, mm-hmm. then I will choose the travel or. Very far. Like, right. Like so, that. so it's not like you have something in mind already. It's mm-hmm. just like you're going to different countries and mm-hmm. then figure it out on the way. Mm-hmm. Just like see, oh, this is country I really like. This is where I'm gonna settle myself. Yeah. Like right. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.